Hi there, I'm Adam Farah and welcome to the next in our series of short videos um, demystifying marketing for the small business owner. And today I want to talk to you about lead generation. Um, you know how important lead generation is to your organisation, the steady flow of new prospects coming into the business, but not many of you are aware um, how you're currently doing that or indeed how to run campaigns to do more of it. I think that um, it's almost accidental for a lot of businesses. You throw up a web page, you put out some flyers, you run a social media account or two, and people somehow dribble into your business and hopefully they uh, develop and convert in large enough numbers to keep you profitable and, and to grow the business. But when you look at campaigns that are specifically for growing uh, the number of leads into your business, you need to be smarter about what uh, you do to attract those leads into the business than your competitors and with anyone else really who's competing for the attention of your target audience. So what I'd first of all do is I'd look at what's been working for you. Where have the majority of your leads been coming from? And if you haven't been measuring this, this is something you should really either retrospectively measure or start to measure from today. Get a sense of whether it's Facebook or Twitter or through the, through the website. Is that organic search? Is it paid search? Get a sense of where your leads come particularly the leads that develop into profitable customers, the most profitable customers, ideally. And once you get a sense of that, start to look at the messaging that you put together for these uh, lead generation campaigns, whether you call them lead generation campaigns or not. Look at the messaging, look at what people respond to. And then once you've found that, look at the same media, the same channels and the same messaging and start to replicate it, but this time with twists, with a little bit of testing, different headlines, different media, that type of thing to see whether or not you can massage larger conversion rates and therefore more leads into your business. The other thing about lead conversion, uh, sorry, lead uh, generation, is that it shouldn't just be one strand. Think of it less as a fishing net where you gather up lots of fish that you trawl at the one time and sort through. Think of it more as um, fishing where you bait lots of different lines with different types of uh, attractive content that will be uh, attractive and converted by different types of people. So if your business has, say, seven or eight different target personas, then you should be creating landing pages and content that's specific to each one of those and then dangling that rod out into the pond in which they all sit or swim or shoal or whatever metaphor you want to use for your prospects. But I think that's really important. If you try and use a catch-all, then you won't be able to manage the conversion rates. You won't be able to manage um, the delivery of future content. If you are baiting hooks specifically for particular target groups, then you bring them into your uh, marketing lists and you know that they are from a specific landing page that's just tuned to say dentists, it's an example I use a lot, or doctors or whatever it happens to be, then when you deliver content out that's developed, designed to nurture and develop and build a relationship with those client base, you can deliver out content that's specific to them. I know it seems almost too simple, but actually it's much more effective to do it in that way than it is to take a kind of broad, broad brush stroke approach to both uh, the lead generation and the development of the leads. In terms of what you should be doing, I think that keeping it simple is probably the most straightforward way of doing it. Have landing pages that are very self-explanatory, that explain what the um, the content is for, why the content is valuable. Make sure that you add um, a call to action and a very simple box for people to sign up. Um, in the early stages, just email and first name or even just email is enough. We just want to start people slowly and not rush into anything. I think also in terms of content, Anyone who uses social media these days will realize there is so much content online and it's an absolute nightmare to sift through it all to ensure that, um, that it's of value to you. And people will always download stuff and never read them. So the key here is to make sure that the quality of your content is good. Make sure that your production values are good and that you carry your brand themes and your visual identity 
into um, into the content as well. Um, if you can use different types of media, for example, like video, um, that I, I think is very popular and very easy for people to consume. That's also an important way of getting your message out to, to the market. And anything that's a little bit different, make sure that you're trying to always add value to that client. Make sure they're getting a sense of the worth that you can bring to them, that the problems that you solve are real and you understand them and you're empathetic to those. Because I think part of uh, the whole process of ensuring that you get, or at least giving you a chance to get to a converted lead, is showing the prospect when you meet them for the very first time, that you get them, that you understand them, that you know what it's like to be them. And therefore, when you talk to them about the issues that they have, they feel like you already have a handle on them and they can trust you in whichever uh, sphere of business you, you uh, relate to them in. Now, I could go on about lead generation for hours because it's a really important, a really exciting subject. But what I'll do is the next time and we're on perhaps in a few days, I'll start to talk about the types of content that people are moving towards away from just kind of bog standard white papers, talk about why they're important. But for now, I'll just sign off by saying if you have any particular issue with your marketing in your small business and you'd like us to discuss it in one of these short videos, then please and tag me or even message me if you'd like it to be uh, confidential. Tell me what the issue is. Again, if it's confidential, we won't mention who you are and we'll discuss it in one of these videos in the coming few days. And um, thanks very much again for listening and we look forward to speaking to you again soon. And hopefully next time it won't be so wet. Take care.